<laughs> yes! Yes! Such ferocity. Such tenacity. I am loath to recall how disappointed I was when first we fought. But finally... Finally, after bathing in the blood and awful of your enemies, finally you prove yourself worthy prey for the hunt. It fills you even now, doesn't it? The hunger to bite down on my jugular, to feel the warmth fill your mouth and run over even as you drink deep. Good. Good. This is the beast I have longed to face. As you sharpen your claws, I too sought newfound strength. But this is no place for a final contest. Come! The heavens shall bear witness to our dance. Confound it. Go after Xenos, my friend. We shall deal with this. Welcome to the Royal Menagerie. The King of Ruin built this place for his foreign queen. He kept it filled with familiar creatures from her homeland. They bored me all. This fine specimen, on the other hand, Simply divine. Your fates are entwined, are they not, Icon Slayer? This dragon, this embodiment of unbridled despair, born of a desperate man's burning hatred for the Empire. How raw the raging tempest that churns within its breast. No myth made manifest this, but a being of pure violence. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip the Alagon Hound to drive this icon into my arms. Oh, my, have I said too much? Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. A question, then, and I should like very much for you to speak from the heart. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? But have I not already bound it with Omega's restraint? And does not the seventh umbral calamity stand as a testament to the fallibility of such devices? Oh, how quickly we forget. A pity. There is another alternative. Or there would be. Had you only mastered your ability. I speak of the Echo, of course. 
Does it merely render you immune to iconic influence, or is it rather that your influence is far greater than theirs? Granted, these implications are of no moment to a savage who thinks only of killing the beast before him. But when I read Van Belsar's reports, I immediately saw the boundless potential of the Echo. I saw how it could be instrumental in binding an icon to one's will. Hence my research and the resonant. I know so much more. All icons must be exterminated without exception. Such was the Imperial Mandate issued by my great-grandfather, after he saw firsthand the destruction wrought by one such being. They are a blight upon this star, he felt. And so he began his great and just crusade. Ha! T'was not justice which spurred his campaign, but fear! Fear of the icons! Fear of their power! Cowardice made them march forth to battle. Pathetic. Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed. Lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity to embrace violence for its own sake. For we who are born into this merciless, meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn. I know you understand this. You and I are one and the same. Together, we could while away the quiet hours as friends and confidants. If <laughs> and yet, in doing so, you prove me right. We are warriors. It was plain from the first how this would end. for them too this is who we are my friend this is all we are alamigo and doma and Gollumol be damned Gods, you by your gift, I by my might. And before the resonant, the gods shall claim to heal. Indeed.